good night everyone um on my way home from work Devin Metcalf here from Daybreak Cometh and I just want to talk quickly about pre-trib versus post-trib or mid-trib now a lot of Christians out there they believe in mid-trib and post-trib and sometimes we can be arrogant to think we are strong enough are tough enough to do certain things or go through certain things until we really face this situation now the bible said we should pray that we are found worthy to escape the trial that is coming upon the whole world to test those who dwell upon the earth and a lot of people believe that we're going to go through the tribulation and i don't think they really understand what that entails you know i was watching a end time movie um about a year ago or so and there was two girls that was going through the tribulation and one of them seemed to be the strong Christian and she was giving the other girl advice that oh she whatever she does she should not take the mark and she seems like such a strong Christian and that she is going to resist everything that is gonna happen and then there is this little girl that was seemed to be weak and so scared and she just you know want don't want to be there and want to get out of it and there was they both were captured and there was a guy that was with them in the van <clears throat> and when they went into this room to sit down and each of them is gonna be called by name and given the choice to take the, the mark or be beheaded um, this girl who seemed to be the strong one she went first and she told the other good girl that was left there not to take the mark um, no matter what and the the girl was scared but the guy was there and so the, the strong one went and then the weak one was crying out to God and said she's scared and she's worried and everything and while she was going through this the guy came over to her and laid his hands um, on her and then he disappeared and the strong girl came out of the room obviously she took the mark and she's telling the, the weak girl don't take the mark you know goes and this weak girl she was strengthened by angels or i don't know who it was and this girl was singing while they were using the galleting to cut off her head thus she is the one who wasn't arrogant to think she was so strong that she can go through it all and a lot of people that story tells me a lot for people who are thinking that they are strong enough to go through the tribulation and the great tribulation the bible says a third of the green grass will be burnt up a third of vegetation a third of the trees a lot of people they are in their comfort zone and they have their ac and they have their they are running water and their food in their fridge, their cool water to drink. But what happened when one third of the trees are burnt up? Everything is gonna be so hot wherever you are. Your AC or your fan won't work anymore. Your fridge won't be able to cool up because the, the in fact the, the, your, your, your electric company is gonna have problems with all this fire. Um, around the area so there's gonna be electrical fire the entire system will have to shut down the grid will have to shut down 
So therefore you have no electricity, no running water, no AC, no fan, no food in your fridge. And if you're gonna try to drink some water, the water itself is gonna be so hot because of the heat that is gonna come from all these trees that are burnt up. And once there is so much heat on the earth, the, the heat is gonna go out to sea. So there's gonna be like hurricanes that is generated from this coal here and hot hair mixture. There's gonna be rocks cast in the sea creating tsunami at the same time. And when there is so much heat, there's gonna be earthquakes on the earth at the same time. So you're not gonna be able to have no food because vegetation is gonna be burnt up. You cannot go to the doctor if you feel sick, for one. You no longer have a house because you cannot pay your taxation because you don't have the mark of the beast. So you cannot pay taxes, you cannot pay mortgage, you cannot pay rent. So you're gonna be living on the street. You have no food, you have no water, you are constantly hot. All of these things are gonna, you're gonna be pers pursued nonstop. You cannot go to the hills because there is no food there. There's fire there because the trees in the hills and the grass, a third of them is going to be burnt up anyway. So people are not seeing the magnitude of the horror that is coming upon the earth. I remember there was Hurricane Irma. And with Hurricane Irma, um, there was no AC and it was so hot it was so tormenting um we had a little food we had a little fan but it just couldn't work it was horrible and people gotta understand and know that this challenge is not gonna just this the the, the unrighteous is not gonna be so suffering and we the righteous not gonna be able to to experience the effect as well the people everyone felt the effect of the hurricane and so we believers have to realize the horror of what is gonna come upon the earth and let people know escape give your life to Jesus pray that you're found worthy to escape the trial that is coming upon the earth my brothers and sisters wars war is coming and all of these horrible things is gonna take place before and i say pretty soon because i had the dream and i shared it previously where i see all the planes um moving over the sky the warships everything getting in place in preparation for a war well, I had the dream the 7th of this month and one of my clients was telling me tonight that his mother had a dream about three weeks ago where she see all the planes and the fighter planes and everything getting in place um, for some form of war. And even President Biden now is telling Israel to wait until they get all of the, the planes and the different things in place in preparation for the war that is coming in Israel. My brothers and sisters, believe what you want to believe. The Bible said, beat unto you according to your faith. You think you're going to go through the, 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 all the tribulation and all the wrath and everything, beat unto you according to your faith. I believe in pre-trip. I believe in getting out of here before all of these things happen and the wrath of God poured out without measure without kindle without measure there is no restraint God is not gonna go cohesive up it is his full wrath we're not talking about just God is giving it out and holding back some no it's gonna be full the full wrath of God is gonna be poured out why would you want to be here? Why wouldn't you want to escape that? And so, don't be 
deceived to think that you are so strong when the enemy is released in full force upon the earth don't believe you're so forced on a lot of christians right now who are believing in, in post-trip cannot even stand up on a little temptation and you think that you're gonna able to resist the temptations that are gonna come upon the earth when the enemy is fully released and the restrainer is taken out of the way and you think you're gonna be able to release resist all the temptation the devil is gonna come at you with along with the fact that you have no food no water nowhere to seek you cannot go to the doctor you cannot go to the hospital you can do nothing you're desolate and destitute and the enemy is tempting you at the same time and you think you're strong enough to go through all of this don't be deceived my brothers and sisters let's fix our eyes on jesus let's prepare for him to come back let that song let those words come from our hearts come lord jesus come we wait for your salvation as he said in revelation the spirit and the bride says come my brothers and sisters i can't force you to believe in pre-trip but i can encourage you to really think about all the things that is coming upon the earth and you know yourself better than anyone else do you think you currently if this should happen right now you're strong enough to go through all of it you have the grace of god right now and some things that you're battling it is whooping you left right and center and you know yourself and you know that it is tough right now to fight the good fight of faith do you think you're tough enough and you're strong enough you who are preaching post trip do you think you're strong enough and tough enough to go through it to all those things be honest with yourself be fair with yourself ask yourself an honest question and then you will find out what you truly believe if you're honest enough with yourself for those of us who are waiting for the return of our great god and savior jesus christ to take us out of here to escape the trial that is coming upon the world i encourage you to continue to look up you know there's a lot of people who don't believe in jesus they say christianity is just a crutch for the weak if that's what they believe that's okay i choose to be weak and strong in the lord and some people who think they're strong may say oh tribute um, rapture pre-trib is just an escapism for those who, who, who are not strong well guess what if that's all you want to see that is an escapism i want to escape you can deceive yourself to think you're strong enough but i rest in the grace of god and i rest in the goodness of jesus and i still believe that Jesus is good and he's gonna take us out of here before all of his wrath is poured up on this earth without measure I encourage those of you who don't believe in pre-trib to really question yourself really face yourself and and ask yourself this two question are you strong enough to go through all of that and those of you who are believing that Jesus is about to take us out of here, continue to trust him, continue to believe in him, continue to look out, look out for him, and continue to call upon him. As, the, as it says in Revelation, the spirit and the bride says come. Have a wonderful day. If I don't see you soon, see you in the rapture. Bye-bye.